Well, in addition to the barberry, there are other great purple leaf plants for the landscape. And one of my favorites is the forest pansy redbud. Now we've all seen the redbuds in the landscape and the wonderful flowers that they have in the spring, and most of them have the green leaves. Well, this one is nice because it has the purple leaves. And here you can see just a wonderful purple color. Now they come out and they're very dark purple as you can see here. And then as they mature, they start to get a little more green. So as we go back on the tree, you'll notice that the leaves turn more of a green and you just faintly see the purple. But overall, you get a nice purple effect out of these plants. Now there is one thing to remember about these. Now they will get about 20 to 25 feet tall depending on their environment and 15 to 20 feet around. So you need to have a little bit of space for them. And also, the forest pansy is not quite as drought tolerant as the other redbuds. So you'll want to watch the water a little more closely on this tree. Now redbuds in general tend to be susceptible to leaf rollers. And right now we've got some leaf rollers on our forest pansy. And I think I can show you some. Right over here you'll notice that the leaf is kind of folded over. This is a a classic leaf roller symptom. And if we open this up, we'll see if we find a, an actual worm in here. He's already gone, but you'll notice how they kind of paste the leaf edge over, and then they live in here and eat on the leaf. Now, uh, spraying with BT will get rid of these, and the best thing, as with any insect, is to monitor this and catch them while they're still young. Now, Another red bud that actually isn't purple but it is resistant to the leaf rollers is the Oklahoma red bud. Now this red bud has a nice, again, the heart-shaped leaf and you can tell that the leaf is kind of got a waxy coating and it's a little bit thicker and that helps it resist the leaf rollers. So if you don't want to have a problem with leaf rollers on your red bud, you might think about the Oklahoma red bud. But if you're looking for some purple color in your landscape, forest pansy is a great tree. Well, we've also got several other trees and shrubs that have great purple leaves. And one of those that everyone would like to have in their yard is probably the Japanese maple. The purple leaf varieties are absolutely beautiful. Now, there are several different cultivars, but what you're looking for is a tree that's Acer palmatum, atropurpureum, and then some kind of cultivar from there. The atropurpureum um, describes a purple color in the leaves. Now the thing to remember with a Japanese maple is that they vary quite a bit in their size and also in their leaf pattern and habit. But you want to make sure in Oklahoma that you put them probably in a more sheltered spot because of our hot winds and the hot summer. So use them as an understory tree or plant them in an area where they're shielded from our hot Oklahoma winds. Now another great bush or tree with purple leaves is the purple smoke bush. Now you may recall seeing a smoke bush that had green leaves and the striking thing about these are not necessarily the flowers but the hairs on the pedicels after the flowers have bloomed that give it this nice pink smoky appearance. Well with the purple smoke bush the actual leaves are purple and it's a beautiful addition to the landscape. Well. In addition to all of these trees and shrubs, we have several lower growing plants up around our studio barn, and let's go take a look at those. Well, another one of the great purple plants that actually has some height to it is the purple fountain grass. We have wonderful dark purple leaves and also a beautiful seed head on the top. Now there are a couple things to remember with purple fountain grass and one thing is is that it is not winter hardy here in Oklahoma so you're going to have to plant it every year and also you may think oh they've got seed heads so I'll plant these and get some more plants. Well these seeds are not viable. These are actually propagated by division so if you're wanting to multiply this out you'll need to take a pot in and divide that keep it in a greenhouse or something like that and then put them out again next year. Now we've got some more purple leaf plants under our arbor here and this purple leaf irisine is a very nice plant for a kind of a semi-sunny shady spot. If this gets sun in the morning and then is shaded in the afternoon it will be very very happy. It has beautiful purple leaves and this will actually fill in quite well. 
this can actually get three to four feet tall and start to kind of fall over. But if you keep it cut down, trim it down, it will bush out for you and it will make a nice addition to a shady or semi-shady area. Now over here we have purple false oranthemum and this is a very nice purple plant. And in addition to the purple, we get a lot of almost pink and green here. And you start with a dark purple stem and then the leaves have some variegation in them. And that is a very nice plant. Now this again takes morning sun, but by afternoon you need to have it in a more shaded spot. And this has a very upright growth habit, so it will tend to want to grow straight up. If you want it to bush out and fill in a little bit more, trim it back ever so often and it will kind of fill in for you. Well, our last plant with purple leaves is one of the great plants for summer, and that's one of the ornamental sweet potatoes. This is blacky, and it has a wonderful leaf shape, and you'll notice it's filling in quite nicely. Now, this plant loves the sun. It also loves the heat, and even though it's an annual, it will fill in a space very rapidly and make a nice ground cover for you during this summer. Well, you'll notice here that we have a very striking contrast between our blacky sweet potato and the margarita, which is kind of a more yellow sweet potato. Now, we've used this color scheme a lot out here at the studio grounds, and next week we'll be showing you several plants with yellow leaves so that you can use this color scheme in your own landscape. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.